daughter is here. She just came back. President Biden today trying to save an infrastructure deal while also balancing foreign policy challenges. The president meeting with Israel's president as the two nations reset their relationship under new leaders. Today we're going to be discussing a broad range of challenges, including Iran. It comes amid new tensions in the Middle East after a series of U.S. airstrikes against Iran-backed militia targets in Iraq and Syria. These strikes are designed to limit the risk of escalation. The Pentagon calling the attacks a defensive response to recent drone strikes against American and allied personnel. While at the same time, the Biden administration is seeking to restart talks over the Iran nuclear deal. Iran will never get a nuclear weapon on my watch. On the home front, President Biden trying to get a bipartisan infrastructure deal back on track after an unforced error had Republicans threatening to walk away. The president walking back comments that he wouldn't sign the bipartisan bill unless it's paired with another larger spending plan that only Democrats support. The White House calling it a clarification and insisting he never intended to threaten a veto. While some Democrats want to fight, Republicans are holding their ground. I'd like to see us get there, um, and I do think the only way we can get there is to delink the two issues. The president also facing pressure from the left as progressives rally outside the White House, pushing for infrastructure to include more climate priorities. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. President Biden stressed that he remains committed to both the bipartisan traditional infrastructure plan and the broader effort addressing social priorities like education, child care and elder care. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.